As uh, many of you will recognize, this is a water pump off of a vehicle. This actually came off of my 1987 Lincoln Town Car. I took it off uh, over the weekend. It had fluid coming out of the weep hole. Uh, so the internal seals bad and the flu is just bypassing and that's the way it can come out So it was looking pretty bad. It needed to be replaced and this car set for 11 years So it's pretty much no surprise that the seals are out Anyhow, this is a pretty common replacement I just wanted to take a video of this because I have a friend of two or three days ago that told me that he had his water pump replaced And his car was overheating so he took it to the shop the Shop looked at it and said oh your water pump must be out They replaced his water pump and he drove the car home only to find out the car still overheated Took it back to the shop, and they charged him some more money and said, oh, your thermostat is out. And, uh, you know, he had a sticky thermostat that was, you know, sticking closed, and the car wasn't getting enough fluid. It was overheating. A pretty simple fix that they should have checked first. And they didn't. So they got his money, and, uh, you know, there's nothing really he can do about it. He, you know, inexperienced dealership or repair shop or... Uh, maybe they do it all the time. I don't know. I'm not going to judge them. But either way, I thought I'd do a little educating on people. Water pumps pretty much anymore rarely fail. They they do fail. Don't get me wrong. But anymore, you know, we got stuff in the coolant that prevents corrosion. Uh, they're internal. You know, there's there's not really any way to ding up the fins or bend the fins. Um, you know, we, as, as long as you're properly keeping your fluid clean and, and changed in your radiator... Um, I, I don't really know how they can fail, um, other than the seals can go out and they come out the weep hole. Uh, and there is a weep hole there that sits on the bottom and it was leaking. There's also a weep hole on top. And the idea of these weep holes is they go into the cavity behind the bearing. Um, typically, you know, they, they vent them so that, uh, the atmospheric pressure doesn't get stronger on one side or the other. Uh, keeps the seal in, you know where it needs to be seated. Um, it's vented, and they put a hole on the bottom in case there is any moisture that's built up inside, whether that's here from condensation or some type of container that's get behind the seal and it seeps a little bit. This is the the relief point to keep keep uh, fluid so it comes out and kind of keeps the inside dry. On the positive note, a uh, side result of these holes is when the seal does go all the way out. Um, then it'll leak and you can see it come out the weep hole and you know your water pump needs replaced. Um, if your engine's overheating, check the thermostat first. It's probably not the water pump. Uh, check the um, radiator. Make sure that the cores aren't clogged. It's not real dirty inside. Um, and I'm going to take this apart. In fact, I'll, I'll do this in the next clip. I'll roll this over. Uh, this has a plate behind it. Uh, some of them don't, but I'll pull this plate off and I'll show you what it looks like inside. And then you'll understand why these kind of rarely fail inside of one of these look like. Uh, sometimes there's a plate on the back, sometimes there's not a plate on the back. It just depends on who makes it. Um, you know, these pumps are, are pretty much similar in design. They all have a bearing, a shaft, and a fan. Um, the fans are usually made out of some really good steel. They're usually pretty thick. Um, there's really not much that can go wrong in a water pump. Um, if your car is overheating and um, you suspect the water pump, uh, it's probably not the water pump. Um, I did see a few pictures online where this fan was eroded away. Uh, the fluid in those cars looked pretty much like mud. Uh, and I'm not sure how long you'd have to be running mud around these blades to degrade them, but I would imagine a long time. These are probably a stainless. Uh, this car is, this is probably its original pump. This is an 87. The car set for 11 years. I know the people that had it. Uh, it's only got 64,000 miles on it. Um, it's probably the original original pump. Uh, the fluids today are good. They don't cause a lot of rust in the engine. Uh, they got a rust inhibitor. Um, pretty much, if this blade still looks good, the pump's not leaking, and it's not slipping on the shaft, which this design, I don't even see how that could even be possible, it's not the water pump. There's nothing to these things. Um, again, it's got to come off this shaft, or these blades have to be eroded. And, you know, like I said, you can see these are some pretty thick metal. I can't really get a focus on that. Um, it's pretty thick. And they're made out of a harder steel like a stainless. And the way it's designed, they're not going to pop off that shaft. Now, I'm not sure. Maybe some of the cheaper cars, uh, they might slip off. I, I don't know. But every pump I've ever seen, I've seen a lot of them, they're not bad other than the bearings go out and they leak. So... If a, if a dealership or a repair shop tells you your car is overheating because the water pump's bad, 
I think I'd question them. I'd, I'd wonder. I'd at least get a second opinion on it. Um, there's just not much to fail. So anyhow, I thought I'd talk about that. You know, I'm not saying that they don't fail. They obviously do fail. You know, the, you know, I've heard one mechanic say that he's seen one of these blades come off the shaft. Uh, okay, that happens, I'm sure. Um, I think you'd probably hear that. Uh, I've heard one guy say he's seen one bent. I have no idea how you could bend a blade. I just don't see that happening. It's all enclosed. There's nothing in here. Uh, I just don't see it happening. Um, there's not much to go wrong with these. And there's a little bit of labor intensive involved in changing them. So I'm sure the shops, if they're crooked enough, like to do it. Um, if they're inexperienced, of course, they're going to do it. And that happens too. We get a lot of shops that don't really know what they're doing. But um, anyhow, just thought I'd show this inside so you knew what the inside of a water pump looked like. Uh, you knew what to look for. If it was leaking, you know the seals are out. Um, and uh, pretty much, as long as you keep your fluid clean, it's not going to degrade.